Hello there, my darlings. Happy Thursday to you all and welcome to a cheeky little speed build here on a Thursday. Welcome to one to three penny lane. This is a little tiny trio of kind of little British miners cottages built in the beautiful world of Henford on Bagley, where I will be building for the rest of my life. Um, well, I will be building in other places, but I'm far too much into this world at the minute to build anywhere else. So this is where we are right now. So yeah, th that's exactly what it is. It's three tiny little miners' cottages, each of them having a bedroom uh, each. You could probably fit, you could easily fit six sims onto this particular lot. And what I you normally do is have kind of separate families living in these kind of builds. And then I lock the doors for specific people, if you know what I mean. And then they can... Um, reside in their houses and not go into other people's houses and stuff and that's what i did and this is where it is this is on the rental lot i think it's a 40 by 30 lot or is it i don't know i don't know i think it's 40 by 30 might not be but it could be um and yes that's and i very much enjoyed building it really did so they've all got their own little living rooms and kitchens they've got the bedroom upstairs some of them have got a bathroom downstairs i think Mm, do they? No, I don't think one has. I did, however, manage to squeeze in a little tiny office into the downstairs of another one. But yes, I very much enjoyed doing this. I'd love building these kind of builds. And it's kind of paying respects to the kind of little miners' cottages and stuff I see around the area in which I live. Uh, and I just like how they look. I like how they look. And I think they weirdly fit into this landscape quite nicely as well. Uh, and I'm very much for it. So this, my loves, is the last video of this week. I did say I was going to be building, building, bringing a video out on Friday as well. But I have had such a stressful week, my darlings. Such a stressful week. I don't know how creators pre-record and not get stressed with it. I got stressed and I was just like, do you know what? My stress is not worth it. So what I'm going to do is see you all again on Monday for Let's Build the Worlds and this brand new family that you are going to love. So this will be the last video this week, my darlings. Um, and it will also be the last video in where I say, don't forget there's only three videos next week just because I'm away with friends. So yeah, we'll leave that there. But yeah, look, we've got the wallpapers on. I've used a mixture of the ones from university i think that's university um wallpaper the one on the right there and henford and bagley as well those stone henford and henford and bagley cottage living um i love the stone from cottage living it's amazing i'm very much looking forward to seeing some if any cc creators out there end up doing a recolor of them because i would love to see some different colors of them as well but yes very nice so i kind of split them all into three we then go and i just try and make them look still the same kind of have the same character each but just with like differing kind of appearances so one of them's a little bit lighter one of them's a little bit more cleaner and not modern but the styling of it was just a little bit more modern and then the one on the end onto the left there that one's the biggest one actually it's got like a garage which i did convert into a dining room and I just thought that really fit in well so you were gonna have to let me know if you like it or not my sweets yes you will indeed um and I will flop it up on the gallery um as soon as you're um watching this video so yes it will be on the gallery whenever you may wish to go and download it um my username is Stephen Bumpkin on the gallery as well all one word all one word oh and look it's those culprits that I failed in my latest EA kind of rebuild video I thought those bloody flower ivy things were base game and they're not this get together I failed at that I really did I was pissed off I was fuming and I alt placed a few items 
Um, but none of you saw that, and I will pay you later. Thank you very much indeed. But yes, um, so this one here, I went for a bit more of a, I think this one I went for a bit more of a darker aesthetic inside, but we'll talk about that a bit more when we get in. They've all got back gardens as well, which is really cool. Managed to give them these little tiny back gardens around the back that they've all got differing things in them. And I just like the how they look kind of cohesive, but also they've just got all their own kind of individual personalities as well. Uh, and I think you guys will enjoy that too. I very much do. But yes, it's really cute. Really, really cute. And I'm glad that I kind of, I, I've been really wanting to do a little row of miners' cottages for quite a while, especially since Cottage Living has been released. And this is it. This is it. It's, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more of these kind of builds especially when it comes to Brinderton Bay for the Let's Build the World series. We're going to be doing lots of little cottages and little rows of different houses with different sims living in them and stuff. So be on the looks out for that. I'm very much looking forward to when um, Willow Creek is over. Even though I've been loving building Willow Creek, I'm very much looking forward to it. I very much am indeed. But, um, but yes, very nice. I hope you're all all right today, my loves. I hope you all had a nice week. I really do. I am so excited. I'm so excited to being, and this is, I'm not rubbing it into anybody who hasn't seen their friends or anything in a while, but I haven't seen my best friends in about two years since the whole panini started. I hate people who call it that. Can we not? Just like I just did then. Um, and I get to see them tomorrow and I'm so bloody excited. They both live up in Brighton. Um, so I'm going up to stay with one of them for a week and I just can't wait. I'm so excited just to go up and see my friends. Um, so expect some rather maybe drunken antics on my Instagram page. That would probably happen. Um, and if you do, don't follow it. As I always say, how very fucking dare you? The link is down below. <laughs> and I promise I'm not begging for subs. Or was it, is it subs or followers? It's followers, isn't it? I'm not begging for followers on Instagram. I promise I'm a classy broad and that is not me. I'm totally lying. Get over there and follow the shit out of me. Thank you very much. <laughs> but anyway, this is us. What am I doing? I'm just like, was I supposed to record this? Probably not. Probably thought I was, oh no, I'm testing Ivy. Having a little look through it. Oh, there we go. Getting some window boxes in as well. It just looked like a bit of footage then where I was just guessing things. I do like the look of the red now it's there. But the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm thinking, no, actually. No, I'm not feeling it. I do like the blue with the red I think it pops off but I think the red was just standing too much it was too out for me it was standing too out in the forefront the color and I don't think I used the pink in the end either I decided to go for an all green look for this particular cottage so this one just looks a little bit more clean and a little bit modern than the rest of them did um and I still think it looks cute I still think it looks cute yeah I definitely didn't think I was recording here I'm all look look I'm just trying to I'm looking for thumbnails and everything <laughs> Yeah. I totally forgot I was recording. <laughs> totally did. Sorry about that. Spinning around, saving. Oh, God. God. Let's, when will this end? Here we go. <laughs> it's ended. So we're going back and we're doing the... I did a little, like, stepping stone moment for this one as well. So I used those stepping stones from um, the live edit. I used these and I just like the way that that kind of, like, went up the pathway and as I said, I was trying to kind of just put a different personality on each one, but still making them kind of be a bit more cohesive together. And in my eyes, I don't know. I think I pulled it off semi-okay. And um, I do like that I played around in this build for an hour afterwards as well, just to test everything. And everything does work completely fine as well. It's all been player tested. So yeah, it's almost like three tiny little homes next to each other. Um, just with that kind of like little miner's cottage, quintessential British vibe. I really wanted to portray in here and I think it worked. I do think it worked. What am I looking for here? I've not, oh, we use them. We end up using these just to border in the edge of the uh, hedge there. And I think it works. I think it works quite nicely. Love that little um, wall, that little like um, trim. I absolutely love that. I use it to death in quite a lot of my builds. Um, this one being no um, exception. <laughs> and I've been using these new grass pieces as well from... Um, cottage living oh, I've just been using them everywhere I'm so glad we've got some new grass in the game now that actually sits down into the landscape quite nicely as well 
I'm for it. I really am for it. But yes, um, if there is any of you up in Brighton this weekend and you see me gallivanting around with my friends, don't be afraid to come up and say hello to me. I, I would love if you guys would come and say hello to me. So if you do see me out there, I know there's been a few of you saying that you're in Brighton this weekend as well. Um, then feel free to come up and say hello. I promise I don't bite. I might give a cheeky hug because I'm a bit of a hugger. But, and I might be semi kind of like half cut drunk, but you've not, you can't let that, you cannot hold that against me. You know, I'm here to celebrate being reunited with my friends. <laughs> so yeah, feel free to come up and say hello to me. I promise I won't bite hard. <laughs> oh God, he's awful. He's awful. Aiden's off for goodness sake. Um, so this is the back garden area. So again, I still wanted them to all have kind of differing personalities. So I just try and make them look a little bit more different to each other. One using a hedge, different color walls and whatnot. Uh, and different color fences, sorry. Did we do that? The little stone walls, were they different colors? I don't think so. I don't know. But um, And using these flagstone as well. I absolutely love that flagstone from the Star Wars pack. I use it in a lot of my builds and especially in these kind of builds. Um, and I flopped out a little Land Rover look. I pl plopped a little Land Rover here and then I decide on going for the kind of like open farm fence the, or the open farm gate um and i just think it looks really cute and i love that land rover that little forest green land rover is just i see them everywhere where i live and when i saw that we had them in the game now i was so excited and do you know what it, last week or no the week before when i was looking through the live edit and the debug for cottage living i actually didn't even know that we had a double decker bus i did not know that was a double decker bus in the game and i'm trying to work out where it's from i don't know where it's from you don't see them driving around because i asked um my twitch chat i asked them if you see them driving around and people were like no i don't think so so where in the world is the double decker bus that's what i would like to know it'd be so cute if we could have little buses come and pick them up from the like bus station i'd be much for that i really would very much would indeed um but yeah so this is the first house this is the first house garden um i wanted this one to be a little bit more rustic so i end up using that little like bathtub filled with all the, like succulents and cactus and stuff or cacti sorry um and I think it's cute. I actually did have to change this around though because the kitchen layout in the interior was very small and it was difficult to um it was difficult to kind of like make a good layout. So I had to change the door over to the other side on that particular cottage, but I still think it looks really nice and it's still got that same charm as what it did too. Now this is on the more green and grey looking one. So I did want this to be a little bit more semi-modern um maybe a small family could live here a family of two because <laughs> that's all yet you could fit in these cottages really each one would like fit a couple sims quite comfortably quite snugly but it would work you know and that's all that matters darlings there's no yes it is. yes yes it is. so this one over here is the bit it's, it's not that much bigger than the rest of them to be honest with you but because it's got that bigger extension where I did put the dining room and it's got this longer courtyard plus the little ward courtyard that it's got at the end as well. It just makes it feel that this house is a little bit more bigger. It really did. That room that I made into the dining room, you could even make that into an extra bedroom if you wanted and have a, like a family living in this one. So it could have a family of three living in this house quite comfortably. But from my build, I didn't do, I didn't do that. And then I, I put planters everywhere as well. Uh, everything is grown in the summer too so if you do pop this down and the stuff and the planters are not there well, then you know it needs to be planted in the summer or pot down in the summer and then your crops and your fruits will grow with glee they really will but um but yeah i do i do like this one i if it was me i would live in this one here this one would be the cottage that i would live in just that little bit more bigger I would love to live in a cottage. Tom is not for it. He's like, no, I'm not. I'm not a cottage person. <laughs> it's too small for him. He'd say he feel a bit cramped and stuff in it. So, um, oh, that's there goes my cottage living dreams, my loves. But you know, he's worth it. He's very much worth it. So this is the tiny little living room that we have got straight off from the main door as well. And this is the 
house at the end that we were just on the one with the longer courtyard and stuff um and it's nice i think it's cute it's snug i like the way it looks i made sure to use like the exterior walls um inside as well that happens a lot with a lot of cottages especially in the southwest in the southwest of the uk where i live devon and cornwall they do have like sort of their exterior walls on the inside and they're usually like beautifully like rendered like roughly if you know what i mean so it kind of keeps the shape of the shape of the rocks underneath of it and then uh, people paint it white and it's just it's just a nice touch it's a very nice touch and then a small little kitchen off to it as well so all the kitchens are really snug um but they all work fine they're all laid out a lot differently as well which is quite interesting to think about how i was going to lay everything out um and yeah it works it works as a kitchen it really does and i'm for it very much for it dude so you'll have to let me know down below what you guys think as well um i'd be very much interested very much interested to hear <laughs> that was absolutely crap that one i'm so sorry <laughs> anyway look at this this is the dining room this is that little bit that i was talking about where it's got the kind of it's got the shipping container door i've just pretended that it's like a garage door and it kind of suited the build as well you can imagine these being like sort of swung outwards to get the car in and stuff so they decided to have a little dining room in here instead but as i said this would make a great bedroom it's a nice size probably have to be a single bedroom for a kid or something but i still i still think it would work nicely now this is the only bedroom in this house so the one problem that i had with this was the layout had to be with the double bed against the wall i think both of the other beds are not against the wall so they can get in quite easily but if there is a couple of sims living in this particular lot they might have to scoot their butts over to let the other one in bed um but that's not too bad that's not too bad uh and it still works you know it's there it's an option to use and yeah i like it i do i like the colors in here as well the greens and the mixtures of woods and stuff but yes so this is the middle this is the middle cottage this one's got a lot more of a very neutral gray cleaner kind of modern vibe to it it's almost got like a um um scandinavian feel to it just because it's a little bit lighter and it's got the pale floorboards and stuff um but you see a lot of this too you do see a lot of those cottages that have been renovated and they're very tumbler-esque if you know what i mean and i'm not a fan of that kind of look i love kind of the rustic cottage vibe but i'm not a fan of the kind of like tumbler fairy lights everywhere kind of vibe but i still think it works with this cottage and that is what i decided to go for this was the most difficult kitchen to lay out but what i decided to do in here was have the stove um kind of one of the built-in stoves so you can still use the counter space on top and then that gives you enough room to have it gave me enough room to have a, a fridge and a sink and everything else that goes with it um and yeah still very nice indeed very nice and this is the bedroom upstairs so obviously the sims can get in to each side here um of the bed and again i've used the exterior walls on where the exterior is the rest of them i kind of put different wallpapers and different styles on but i just i don't know i like the vibe in here it's very clean very airy very bright um and you know me with gray i just love me a bit of gray i do i do love me a bit of gay get a bit of gay <laughs> <laughs> well that's not i'm not lying to be honest with you darling i do love a bit of gay absolutely won't lie to you but um yeah cute anyway so this is the last one this is the last little cottage this one's got a lot more of a darker more rustic but still kind of classic vibe to it as well especially with the stylings of the kind of furniture and stuff i went for in this house using those kind of louis sofas and just a little bit more classic with like the bookcase that i'm putting down now everything's just got a little bit more a bit more of a classic vibe uh, i still like it i still really like the aesthetics of this one as well and i love having little mini builds next to each other and them all kind of them all having different kind of personalities to them um i enjoy doing that and i like how they all feel different inside and they're all laid out differently as well even though practically some of the floor plan is quite similar um but I don't know. They just feel like completely different houses. And it's because they are. I just wish there was a way of having multiple different lots on one lot. Do you know what I mean? So you could have like a retail 
and living space or you could have several different families living in different houses on one lot i hope that that would be implemented into the sims 5 in the future because that would be magical it would be a magical time for us all yes it would indeed um but this is that small office that i was telling you about i did say i managed to squeeze a small office in the ground floor area um and i ended up using this one here and it just fits in okay it's a little bit of a squish in the front door area but I didn't put a door in this office. I just put an arch. So it kind of fits in there quite nice, actually. Um, and yes, with British cottages in themselves, most of them are tiny and cramped, um, but cosy. And that's the vibe that I wanted to come through. This layout here was also very difficult. The kitchen layout in here was very difficult too. But I managed to make it work. And I think that it looks nice. I do. I do think that this, this looks nice. And again, player tested. So everything does work perfectly um, and your sims can use everything. So that's all that matters, isn't it, darlings, when it comes down to it, doesn't it? Yes, it has indeed. Uh, I have still got to pack. I've still got to go and pack, even though I was fuming yesterday, loves. I'll have to say this quickly because we're nearly at the end. But my iron blew up yesterday and short circuited my whole house. Um, so I need to run out and get an iron from somewhere in a minute so I can iron my clothes before I pack them. Um, and not only that, um, when it short-circuited, it also disrupted the video upload from yesterday. So I had to re-upload that as well because my PC turned off. I was fucking fuming. Absolutely fuming. But, you know, what more can be done? Um, this is the last bedroom as well. So, yeah, self-explanatory. Nice double room with the darker aesthetics to match him and the rest of the house. Um, and I do like it. They've all come with a bathroom as well. They all come with a bathroom. I just didn't show you furnishing each bathroom because you know me and bathrooms. I just can't be asked. I can't be asked. Anyway, my darlings, I will see you all again on Monday for Let's Build the World. Um, have a lovely weekend, my dears. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.